Hi, colleagues. I chose to do my project slash research on slavery and Christianity and, it's, and the relationship between the two. And essentially what I ended up looking at is um, the paradox and kind of the ironic act of missionaries like Samuel Davies and Charles Colcock Jones, who tried to, and the Moravians, tried to missionize to the slaves and in, at times tried to create a foundations for literacy. Uh, I know Samuel Davies, Reverend Samuel Davies, was very interested in making sure that the slaves could read the Bible because he thought that that was the true way for them, their souls to be saved. However, and that was in the late 18th century, mid 18th century. However, by the mid 19th century, we have Charles Colcock Jones, who by the way, is a slaveholder um, himself, who decides to missionize to the slaves. And he then is um, using only oral education and the shift was really a major kind of pivotal point in my research is from where the slaves can be uh, literate to where they can't. And this is simply because of revolts. I studied then a lot of the revolts, um, the slave insurrections that kind of coincided with some of this missionary work. And the Moravian uh, ministry also tried to teach um, the enslaved to read. However, that resulted in the Stono Rebellion, which was the biggest rebellion, one of the biggest sl slave rebellions that we have. So essentially my project began with the idea of how slave spirituals acted as resistance. And it really changed to this kind of paradoxical relationship between trying to save the soul, but not the body. And that is my title of my project. And then the kind of the second part of it is to save the soul, but not the body, the pursuit of liberty. Because what I found it, fundamentally found in my research is that there was an idea of spirit, sp excuse me, physical and spiritual liberty that both kind of um, became kind of central to this issue. The whites who had both physical and spiritual liberty felt that they should mission to the slaves so the slaves at least had spiritual liberty. And many of these slaves accepted this. Um, there is a, a one Moravian slave who wrote his memoir in the Moravian church, which is really amazing that they had all people do this because it creates such an, a massive, wonderful archive for uh, us historians. Um, but he he was happy to just have his soul sla saved. However, then you have um, like the narrative of Moses Roper and how he talked about how he was owned by a Baptist minister who was just as cruel as they come. And so essentially what I found is the institution of slavery was really upheld by Christianity and that these missionary uh interests and um, activities were more just surface and more maybe just to make these Christians feel like they're actually practicing Christianity in the face of slavery.